find America's top theatrical talents on the cross streets of Broadway and Maine. Call it sad, call it funny, but it's better than even money. That's a guy's only doing it for some dolls. Guys and Dolls, I think, changed the landscape of musical theater. In old school musical theater, you had like the serious couple and the funny couple. And the serious couple was the main storyline. And now the serious couple and the funny couple are on equal footing. And it just kind of shows you how life is because no one's serious all the time and no one's funny all the time. Why is good old reliable Nathan, 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 Detroit? Nathan Detroit is a scammer. If he can run this illegal crap game and skim 10% off the top, then he makes a great living. But the cops have started cracking down and he can't make any money and he's broke. Resist! and he will flee from you. I am a proper young lady. She ventures out to do battle uh, with the gamblers and, and believes that she can turn them all around and save a soul mission. And in doing that, she stumbles upon or is stumbled upon by Sky Masterson. Why are you here? I told you, I'm a sinner. You're a lion. Well, lion's a sin. Sarah is on her guard and she knows who Sky Masterson is and they are right at each other. The sparks are flying, but they're so not gonna give an in. My background actually, I started as a dancer and I, I very rarely get to use Latin dancing, but for this one I get to, so I get to do like all my little like Latin, you know, flavor, which is really fun. If she's tall, you know, getting the fish high from the hotel clerk, a person can develop a cold. I'm playing Adelaide, who is the comedic leading lady of Guys and Dolls. So fun, a showgirl, fierce, and of course, a great song, Adelaide's Lament. Take back your mink to front whence it came. Hotbox numbers are so great. The set for this production is insane. So when we're in Take Back Your Mink, we feel unbelievable. I'm playing Arvide Abernathy. What is exciting about this particular role is to me that it, it, it it's also a, shows a dimension about the strong relationship between a grandfather and his granddaughter. Oh, I cannot wish you to wish you find your love. My favorite moment for me is the scene that I am with Sarah. She's conflicted with her relationship with Sky Masterson. And I tell her, all that I can wish you is that she find love. When I was a kid, I played Nicely Nicely Johnson in my high school production of Guys and Dolls. And now I'm back here to play it here in Babylon. <laughs> We're going to give them the classics that they came to see, but we got a whole new spin on it. This set is incredible, and it's got something like 10,000 lights, and it just, it's like the streets of Broadway. The stage itself is the additional actor in this. Correct, and it better not upstage me. <laughs> This is the National Video Journalist Network.